This is lecture one for Bio 180. We'll be covering water, solubility, and pH. Water itself is essential for life on Earth. Three-fourths of our world is covered in water. It is thought that life originated in the water, and today all life requires water more than any other substance. But why is that? Let's take a look at the human body to answer that question. The body is made up of millions and millions of individual cells. Those cells are organized into tissues, and those tissues form our organs. All of our organs are then organized and form our body. Surrounding and filling each cell is water. The water helps to maintain cellular shape and also participates in most chemical reactions that are necessary to sustain life. Without water, our cells couldn't function and life really wouldn't be possible. The universal necessity of water is a result of its unique qualities. Those qualities result from its structure and the interaction between individual water molecules. A single water molecule is made up of one oxygen and two hydrogens, and they are arranged in the shape of a V as shown here. The hydrogens are covalently bonded to the oxygen which means they share a pair of electrons between them. There is a principle involved in chemical bonding called electronegativity. This is a chemical property that describes the tendency of an atom to attract electrons or electron density toward itself. The more electronegative an atom is, the more it attracts electrons toward it. In the case of water, the oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogens and as a result it pulls the electrons toward it and the electrons spend more time around the oxygen than they do around the hydrogens. This causes a partial negative charge to build up around one side of the oxygen and where the hydrogens are there's a buildup of a partial positive charge. This results in what we call a polar molecule which means that, like a magnet, the two ends of the water molecule have opposite charges. The way that water molecules interact together is a result of this polarity. The partially positive hydrogen of one molecule and the partially negative oxygen of another molecule are attracted to each other and form a bond between one another. This type of bond is referred to as a hydrogen bond. In a liquid form, the hydrogen bonds between water molecules are considered very weak. They are constantly forming and breaking, each lasting only a few trillionths of a second. But since new bonds are always forming, at any instant there are a large percentage of molecules bonded to one another.